Hey guys, uh, welcome to another fun-filled episode of uh, MZ Plays. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing anything. I'm actually going to be reading something. Uh, a couple people have recommended me to do the... Um, forgive me if I pronounce this all wrong, but uh, the Bong, Ch Bong Chong Dong Ghost. Um... <laughs> A lot of people tell me it's really creepy, uh, so <clears throat> that is um, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so let's start this, shall we? Okay, warning, this webtoon is a special horror episode for this summer season. Well, it's not summer now. Since it contains shocking scenes, reader discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those suffering from serious mental conditions. Well, luckily I am not either one of those. At least I hope not. All right, mystery sketch. Bong Chong Dong Ghost. Okay, this story is based on true eyewitness accounts. Fun. Okay. Oh, a little comic. Okay. All right. So now, since this is a comic, I'm going to do my dramatic voice. My my theater teacher called it my superhero voice, and she hated it. <clears throat> So if you ever come across this video, I am sorry. Alright. It was at around 11.20 at night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night study session at school. There was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people e even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Always feeling scared, I kept looking down down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretched towards... Again, can't read. Towards... Bleh, suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eye, although there wasn't anyone around me. <laughs> I'm actually kind of, like, freaking out right now. I looked up to see who there was. This is who there was. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. She's doing the MC dance, you know, hammer time. <clears throat> I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggled to walk in front of me. So horror logic, you go towards her, right? Right? Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas, and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Yeah, so let's, let's, uh, keep on walking towards her. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out everywhere. Yeah, okay. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. Yeah, horror logic. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah, so let's, um, you know, see in this. Let's. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> you know, people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? Uh, my thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills thinking that moment. Gulp. Lifting up her hand, pointing. I answered, pointing as far as I could. But a point can't go but so far. Uh, over there. Yeah. yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I just wanted her to get away from me. And she goes walking off. Then she limped towards where I pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore.
Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there could be a lot of... There'd be, be people around, yes, yes. At that moment... SHE'S NOT HERE! I heard her scream from far away. Uh -oh. Mother! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was awful! Oh, that was awful! Oh... Oh, man! Oh, that was like the grudge, but like worse. Oh, that. Oh, that's awful. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, con continuing. Yes, you're very lovely. A little bit of uh, foundation and some makeup. You'll be fine. I see some eyeliner. Oof. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, go get away from that. <gasps> My legs are shaking, actually. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. <clears throat> in 2007, at, a, at seven, at an apartment complex in Bong Chong Dong Guanak Guanak Gu Seoul. A 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known, known as surname Cho, a divorce, a divorcee, due to her extra material affair, she had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. Hmm, that's real lovely. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. After the incident, Cho was seen walking that car pop wait didn't they just say that yeah that's the exact same thing which okay okay well that was um that was pretty freaky i'll i'll admit that um yeah i i, I definitely would say that was pretty freaky uh, <laughs> that uh, that last noise that happened that that oof like I said, that was like the grudge, but that was worse, seeing it was like right in my ears. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you liked it, please like it, share, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, well, no, not without further ado, that, I say that a lot, actually. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye bye